Hey everyone, welcome you all. This is Pawan. So in this video, we are going to see the roadmap of full stack UA or automation tester in 2021. Okay. And this video will be very useful, especially for beginners and whoever wanted to start a career in software testing or automation testing. And this video will be very useful. So please uh, watch till end of this video. So the first thing and whoever wanted to start a career in software testing or QA or also automation tester, they must know the manual testing concepts. Okay, you should not ignore the software testing basics. So manual testing in the sense you have to know what are the different levels of testing and what are the different techniques we have to use in uh, manual testing and uh, what is bug, how to report the bug and also you should know some kind of testing process, STLC, SDLC. So these things are mandatorily required as a beginner whenever you start a career in software testing. Okay, And apart from that, you have to know about uh, agile process and nowadays almost every company is following agile process and you have to know the what is the process we have to follow in agile and what is scrum what is sprint so these things are mandatory you have to learn and also you have to learn some tools like jira so which is very very popular tool in the market and especially which we can use for tracking all the software development as well as the testing production every activity we can track in the jira and this is basically agile test project process management tool which is available and apart from that, if you have to know, if you know some other backtracking tools, and that is also very good. And these are the different things you have to know as a beginner. And whenever you want to start a career in software testing, even if you go for manual testing or automation testing, whatever, the first of all, you have to know the some basics of software testing. And that's the first thing. And once you learn the software testing concept, the next level is a programming part. So nowadays the programming is also very important for tester. So you have to know at least one programming language thoroughly. So here if I just look at the programming languages, there are so many programming languages are there. But what are the famous programming languages are there and what are the programming languages we have to learn for testing. And especially the first parity given to the Java and the second parity is given to the Python and there are C sharp, JavaScript, there are multiple programming languages are there but especially the testing point of view. So these are the programming languages which are very popular in the market, especially for automation testing. Okay. And if you are completely beginner of programming, like if you don't have any background of programming, then you can start with the Python because Python is very simple language when you compare with the Java. Or suppose if you already know some programming basics earlier or in an academic period, you have learned some programming basics, then start learning Java itself. Okay. Because and most of the opportunities are there in Java itself, Java, auto, so Java, Selenium combination. And the next priority will be given to the Python. So if you know Java already, then you can learn Python or you can learn JavaScript and there are other programming languages. So as a tester, you have to know at least one programming language uh, well. So that's very, very important because this is also required for learn automation testing tools without programming. So it is very difficult to understand automation tools. Okay, so if you want to work with automation tools, you have to know at least one programming language. So what I can suggest personally is if you are a completely beginner, you don't have any programming background, then start with the Python. It is very simple and then go with the Java. Okay, so if you already know Java very well, then as a second priority language, you can just choose Python as a language. Okay, this is all about programming. So once you learn the programming language and then the next step is learning an automation tool. So there are so many automation tools are there in the market and similarly there are so many types of automation uh, testings like web automation, API automation, mobile automation, performance testing, right? There are so many types of testings are there at the same time there are so many tools also there and people will definitely confuse by seeing all the tools and all the technologies. So here I have just listed out all the tools and all the uh, technologies in based on certain order. So if you just follow this particular order, it will be very easy for you and you can just avoid the confusion while learning the tools. Okay. So once you learn the programming concept and then the next level is start with the web automation. So you have to know exactly how applications works, what is web, what is a UI and what are all things we have to test as part of UI. So that is very, very important. So the first priority will be given to the web testing or web automation testing. So if you want to learn web automation testing, there are so many tools are available. Again, you can automate web applications and we can automate desktop applications. But nowadays, most of them are web applications. So first priority will be given to the web applications. So if you just want to learn uh, web automation tools, again, the Selenium and which is very popular tool and well established in the market since long years. 
So you can start learning with Selenium and whichever programming language you already learned, if you learn Java, then start Selenium with the Java or if you already learn Python, you can start learn Selenium with Python combination. Okay, this is a, the first tool, uh, first automation tool which we can give the priority uh, while testing web automation. Okay, this is the first thing. And there is another tool called Cypress. So this is also available and to automate end-to-end -end functionality of uh, web application, even this support API testing. So and nowadays it is slowly becoming popular, but not that much as a Selenium. But uh, you can also learn Cypress as a secondary tool and to automate the web application. And there, there are certain frameworks also available like Cucumber and which will support BDD and TestNG, JUnit. Right? So you can also learn some different type of frameworks and which are very, very helpful while automating the web application. So this is a, a third. So first you need to start with a software testing concept, then programming part and then web automation. Just learn one or two tools at least first learn Selenium part to automate the web application. So this is the first thing, web automation. So once you learn web automation, once you learn Selenium and all these things, the next level you can choose API automation. So nowadays most of the companies are expecting the api automation skills for tester because web automation is not all uh, not uh, enough to do the complete testing part so you need to also have api automation testing uh, skills and uh, nowadays most of the uh, companies are doing like uh, 70 to 80 percent of api testing and 20 to 30 percent of uh, web application testing so the first priority is after learning web application web automation then you can go with api testing which is also very very important to learn and which will also add advantage to your resume so api automation application programming interface so again if you want to learn api testing api automation testing you have so many tools are available in the market again some of them are licensed some of them are open source tools are available and especially here i have listed some uh, most popular tool like Postman and uh, SOAP UI. So these are the UI based tools and you don't need to know any programming knowledge to learn these tools. And uh, it is very easy to learn. But if you want to go in depth of uh, testing and you can also write the scripts in SOAP UI as well as Postman. And uh, these two tools are available as part of API automation you can learn. And uh, also if you are interested to write a coding part also you can just go with REST Assured or Karate API. So these are also, uh, also APIs which are available uh, to automate APIs and which is also very, very important. So after learning web automation, then you can go with the API automation, API testing, which is very, very important nowadays, especially people are preferring the skill set combination of web automation as well as API automation, right? So once you learn these two, the next level is a mobile automation. So nowadays almost all applications are available in the mobile so you can test the mobile apps so this is the next level of uh, automation you can learn so like it comes under the mobile testing if you are interested to work on mobiles or tabs and so on you can just choose this one and uh, currently there is a tool called appium so which is well established in the market and very popular tool and by which we can do automating we can automate the mobile apps okay so you can just learn that and again if you want to learn selenium or uh, if you want to learn appium again the prerequisite you have you have to know some selenium part okay and you need to know some programming language and then we can go with appium and uh, then the next level of testing is performance or security testing especially these two are comes under non-functional aspect and whatever the rest of the tools we have discussed like functional testing and when you come to the performance security testing these are all comes under the non-functional testing part and if you want to interested to learn uh, these tools like performance testing and security testing is available again the performance testing we have a tool called jmeter which is very very popular and established in the market and which is open source and also load runner is also there so you can learn these tools to perform performance testing of your applications but once the functionality is stable then you can go with the performance testing and this is a separate set of skills you cannot compare this with the rest of them okay once the functionality is stable then you can start doing performance testing and security testing and nowadays security testing is also having more demand in the market okay like especially for web security so there are some number of tools are there but whatever tool i know is a burp suit which is also very popular tool which is there in the market and which is used for especially uh, penetration testing which is also comes under security testing so this is actually uh, the process of learning automation tools step by step so first we need to start with manual testing concepts then learn a programming language and then go with auto web automation testing 
and then learn some of the tools like auto ap automation testing like postman and rest assured then go for mobile automation and then if you're still interested you can just move to the non-functional testing part like performance and security testing so these are the uh, different tools and technologies which are already there in the market so apart from this especially for 2021 right so we have to learn a few more technologies or few more tools which are coming up in the coming months especially in 2021 so let me just discuss what are those technologies and tools so the first and important thing here is uh, ci and cd continuous integration continuous it is already there in the market from the long term but this is also becoming very popular in the market so especially people are working in automation testing they should have some skills like uh, they need to know the maven and griddle and which is basically build tools and jenkins you need to know how to work with the jenkins and git github gitlab so version control tools and docker container management so these tools you must know as an automation tester okay so even if you know some basics of these uh, concepts that is more than enough so if you go as an automation tester you have to aware of these tools how to use some basic level on these tools but if you want to go as a senior uh, a senior role or test architect or SDA role then you have to learn in depth or in in future if you're planning to move the devops right so in that case you have to know all the tools in depth like maven how to use maven and grill which are basically build tools and how to use jenkins continuous integration and continuous delivery git github gitlab and docker so these are very very important uh, uh, tools you have to know uh, especially for automation testing and you can learn these tools parallelly after completion of web automation or api testing or mobile application okay so this is also part of automation so if you learn like selenium so which includes maven jenkins you have to know this we can use these tools along with the web automation tools similarly we can use these tools along with the api automation testing tools so these uh, these concepts are everywhere okay so you have to learn this maven gradle Jen jenkins git github gitlab so these things are very very important and especially in 2021 people are expecting some skills on these technologies CI and CD and which is also very useful for you in future if you want to move to the DevOps and that is one important aspect and the other thing is uh, in the latest technologies especially in 2021 so these are the main areas uh, the automation tester should focus on the first thing is cloud testing or cloud based testing the other one is microservices testing apart from the CACD uh, cloud testing and microservices testing so cloud testing is what means is a kind of environment or infrastructure automation will be part of this like aws amazon web services and SaaS lab microsoft azure google cloud so you have to know some basics on these particular cloud testing tools so these are basically cloud where we can set up the infrastructure and we can set up a whole environment in that uh, environment in the cloud and uh, we can run our automation scripts and everything we can do on that particular environment so these are all cloud testing technologies uh, we should have uh, some knowledge on this which is very very important nowadays especially in 2021 most of the companies are moving to the cloud environments so you need to know how to work work on these particular cloud environments and uh, then microservices testing which is also a new trending technology which is going on in the current market and uh, it is something uh, a uh, little advanced than api automation so most of the people will think like api automation or microservices are almost same but they are not exactly the same so microservices are different than apis and microservices are basically the piece of components which we have to develop uh, to achieve one task the whole big application will split into multiple modules and each module having different components and they are basically called as a microservices and to communicate with these modules between these modules we use some apis so by using apis the components will be communicated each other so here microservices testing is also includes api testing so api testing is basically we are testing the apis by which we can communicate between multiple components or multiple modules whereas come to microservices testing we are directly testing the components level and even this is not exactly unit testing this comes between the unit testing and api testing so first unit testing will be done then microservices testing and then api testing will be done so this is exact order so people who are interested to learn api automation testing once you learn this it is better to go with microservices testing because it is a, co a combination of uh, two skill set it is both related not exactly same both are related so 
if you learn api automation already then i prefer to go for microservices testing and you have to know you have to know some tools like junit test engine we already there in automation like macito spring boot so these tools will be used uh, to perform microservices testing and which is also most trending technologies uh, in 2021 especially and apart from this uh, normal things you have to mainly focus on especially in 2021 you have to mainly focus on c and cd and the cloud testing especially and then microservices testing so these are the very very important areas which we need to focus especially on 2021 okay so this is a basically uh, the road map of full stack qa or automation tester in 2021 you can start with software testing concept if you are completely beginner or if you are already working on manual testing so if you want to move to the automation testing then learn some programming language then go with web automation tool and then learn some api testing tool and then you can go with the mobile automation performance or security or you can go with microservices testing which is also having more demand in the current market especially in the coming months so people are expecting more skills on api testing microservices ci cd and these tools are very very important especially when you uh, set up the infrastructure like cloud environment right so, continuous integration continuous delivery so these tools are very very important so in the coming months especially in 2021 okay so that's all for this video guys uh, thanks for watching we'll see in the next video